Air fried Brussels sprouts in garlic and balsamic vinegar along with some Parmesan cheese and some lemon zest. I really think you're going to be impressed. And all those friends you got that say they don't like Brussels sprouts, well, if this don't win them over, <laughs> it can't be done. We're going to use the Ninja Foodie XL Pro air frying oven, but you can use any air fryer you got. I'm John Sanders, also known as Jelly007. So let's uh, air fry these Brussels sprouts with some garlic and balsamic vinegar and uh, show your friends just how good they can be. All right, I want to show you where I'm at on my mixture right now before I go too much further. And uh, although sometimes I have fresh garlic, this is kind of what I use a lot of times, and it does work well. And I use some of their products, but I really like this one. It's better than Bouillon's Roasted Garlic Base. And you don't have to keep, you know, fresh garlic around. Let me say, though, I'm, I'm not affiliated. They are not sponsoring me. Uh, no, Nothing you see here is sponsored. I, I know I say this a lot, but everything's right out of my own pocket, paid for it, and I just like it, and that's why I use it. Now, here's what I've used. Uh, right here's what I've used the zest of one lemon, and you can see I stayed out of the white best I can. I just get the yellow, and uh, it's in there too. But to get to tell you what's in there, it is two tablespoons of this, and three tablespoons of this. And this is uh, obviously from Costco, Kirkland's aged balsamic vinegar. Now, I'm saving my high dollar vinegar uh, balsamic at the end when I drizzle it on. But And I'm also going to put Parmesan at the end, but that's all, like I said, at the end. All right, I'm getting pretty close to all I'm going to cook tonight because I don't want to overcrowd this pan. So I wanted to show you, you know, pretty much exactly what I do. I just take a Brussels sprout, obviously, and uh, cut about a quarter inch off the end and then cut it as close to down the middle as I can and then knock off the outer leaves and just make sure everything looks good, just like that. And it is that simple. And then throw them right here. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And uh, then we're going to, once all this is said and done, I'm going to put it in a something like that and put my... A mixture over it and uh, and get it ready to go in here. Of course, I'm going to spray the bottom of that pan with the avocado oil, but you'll see that in just a second. I'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, I have sprayed this pan with uh, avocado oil right here. That's what I used. And uh, I've got my lemon over here. Now, I, I cut it in half. I haven't put any lemon juice anywhere. I'll put that on there after they're done and kind of ready to serve. I kind of sprinkle it over them. And I'm not going to most likely use all of this. I just, you know, just wanted you to know I made it up, but that doesn't mean, I mean, you just kind of go, it's look and feel. And what I'm going to do is just kind of pour a little bit over it. And maybe I am going to use it all because there's not much left there. But I don't want to just drown them. I just want to coat them. Just get a slight coat on them. And, uh, and I have that reserved if I need it. Okay, so I mixed a little bit of it on there and kind of let it set a minute. No big deal on that. I just did to kind of get an eyeball to see if I wanted to use all of this. And you can see there's not much left. I'm going to put it on there. It, it is a strong uh, mixture, but you, with with this uh, Brussels sprout, I think it'll, it works great. It just does. And uh, you never know how many you're going to get in there because of the size of your pan and all. But I think this there's nothing wrong with what we got right here now i'm not going to try i mean maybe i will but you know i would say turn them all down but it, it's not that big a deal as a matter of fact watch this we'll do it like this right here <laughs> and i'm just going to lay them down now obviously i sprayed that whole pan with uh, avocado oil right here so all i'm doing is mixing is putting these out there now i'm going to let this preheat a minute no big deal just because Maybe it'll give me some time to spread these out. So I'll just show you right now. I've got my lemon cut in half, by the way, in case you can see that. But I have not used any lemon juice yet. What all I'll do is I'll use that to, uh, I might sprinkle, I mean, I will sprinkle a little bit over it once I pull them out of the oven. But, well, let's see. 400 degrees is what we're going for on air fry. So i got to move that down to 400 and I'm going to move the time to 20 minutes for now, just so I can watch it. I don't think it'll... Well, we'll see. I'm going to start it. Whoops, I'm about to press the wrong button. 
I'll let the oven get a little warm, not a big deal. As a matter of fact, I'm going to move that rack before I uh, put them in there, but I'm gonna get them, I wanna get them on one layer for sure. And like I said, these are gonna be as good as you think, and they really are, so. I am going to flip them all over because I got time. There's no, I'm not in that big a hurry. I got it all night. I get all those loose edges off. I don't want them blowing around in there, so. There we go. And as soon as the oven tells me it's ready, I'll stick them in there, be back. Okay, so I went ahead and let the oven preheat and uh, I've got the, well, there it goes. It's ready and as a matter of fact, we'll set them in. I've got them all down on uh, the uh, cut side down. I'm on rack level number three and I'm gonna leave it there. I considered changing it, but I'm not. And I think that'll work. And uh, I'll be back in a little bit. We're at 20 minutes at 400 degrees, by the way. So I'll let y'all see what they look like in a little bit. All right, right there's what it looks like after uh, a, little, a little more than 11 minutes. But it's working. Okay, at 13 minutes, I've decided to take a look at them and turn them around either way. So I'm gonna open it up. There's how they look. I'm gonna shake them around just a little bit and uh, they still need time. So we're just gonna spin them around. Although you probably wouldn't have to, but I, I'm going to. We may let them, we may add time. Gonna see, be back. All right, I'll say it. After the full 20 minutes, we're at 400. We're gonna pull them out now. They are, I think they should be a little brown or dark. And and they're, they're not horrible. In fact, this is how I think they should look. And if they're not enough, we're gonna go more. But that right there, to me, is what a uh, Brussels sprout should be, black or brown. And uh, that's not too far from it. I'm gonna do my normal stuff and take a temp reading on one of the larger ones which it feels it's got a good pressure resistance, 209. That is, uh, that's pretty close to exactly what I want. Now, at this point, I'm going to put them in a bowl. I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon juice on them. And, uh, and uh, or I tell you what, I'm gonna put them right here. And uh, then we're gonna put my, uh, what I call my high dollar balsamic on it. But I'll get that done and I'll be back. Okay, right there they are, and I did cover them up pretty good for my pictures, but take my word, this right here, and, and there's so many different kinds of balsamic vinegar on the market now that it's, it's, it's impossible to understand. There's three different kinds, actually, and I read a little bit on it, but I, I, I've owned this bottle for about two or three years, and I don't know if you can see, there's, there's not a lot left in it. It goes good on everything from ice cream to strawberries, but it is a DOP. Now, I'm not going to lie. It was not cheap, and it's kind of an expensive uh, balsamic vinegar that is sweet. It works. It's got a, well, you can imagine, it's, it's, it's sweet vinegar, and uh, you can see how much I used right here, and that's about what I put on anything I do with. Now, this came from uh, Costco, and it is what they refer to as IGP. I'm not going to pretend pretend to know all the differences, but you can see that's real thin. That, as you can see, is thick. It's like, what I've always referred to is like a reduction. It's like a balsamic reduction, but it's not really. It's made from grape must, and I think it stays in, in a wooden cask till it gets thick. But you know something? Uh, somebody that knows more than that can maybe put that in the comments and help me understand it better. And then there's a third kind, but the thing is, that right there makes a lot of things good, but Brussels sprouts and that works excellent, along with a lot of things. Take my word, these are as good as you get. You can see it browned up real well on the bottom, and uh, I, I, you'll convert anybody that don't like, anybody that doesn't like Brussels sprouts, if they don't like that, they never will. <laughs> and uh, I put Parmesan on it, and a little bit of lemon juice. So, just kind of squoze it right over top. Anyhow, hey, I love y'all all. Come back to see me. Y'all have a good night. Air fry, use some uh, Brussels sprouts. See what you think. Bye-bye.